Welcome to my business. This is basically like tattooing with a spoon. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Woo! Uh, I got into tattooing from being a musician, believe it or not. Um, tattooing, you know, was part of the culture of getting, uh, you know, being in a band or going to punk rock shows. And so getting tattooed was part of that. And hanging out in a tattoo shop long enough, eventually it was kind of just offered to me to like, you're already here, kid. Why don't you, uh, why don't you sweep the floor? And why don't you answer the phone? One little task turned into two tasks and two tasks turned into three. And before you know it, I was, I was an apprentice without even, you know, without even expecting it or planning it. And this was before there was no, uh, Shit, Instagram wasn't around, Facebook wasn't around, you, there was an ink master, this was magazines and just flash tattoo shops. The iPhone wasn't even around. That's how, that's how youthful I am. As of today, as of today's date, uh, it is 13 and a half years, coming up on 14, that I have been Marking the masses. Meeked for life. That's the new hashtag. <laughs> you're not marked for life, you're meeked for life. My favorite part of being a tattoo artist has to be talking about myself <laughs> while tattooing. It's my favorite subject. And from what I can tell, many other people enjoy it as well. Uh, my favorite part, my favorite part is making cool tattoos. Like, pe tattoos have just always been cool. Um, so just getting to add that, you know, make people feel as cool as I feel when I get tattooed, that's, that's my favorite part. My least favorite part, uh, Back pain. <laughs> my least favorite part is being overly critical of myself. Uh, when you're just trying to make a good tattoo and you can look at something and go, I wish I would have done that better. But uh, sometimes customers can be difficult, but working through that and giving them that cool tattoo makes it worth it. So it's kind of the give and take of my favorite and least favorite things are kind of the same thing. They always say this, this would be a dream job if it wasn't for the customers. Except for her, right? Except... <laughs> no, this is, a per I, this is a perfect client. <laughs> she hasn't even moved. I'm using the extra dull needles and she's taking it like a champ. This is basically like tattooing with a spoon. <laughs> My first tattoo was a little checkerboard wristband. You know, being a punk rock ska kid back in late 90s, early 2000s, that kind of stood, stood out. So I got this checkerboard wristband uh, when I was 18 years old. I waited till I was 18. I was actually down here in Tucson with some buddies visiting a friend in college. And we were like, let's go get tattoos. So we all get in the car, we go cruising on Speedway, find a tattoo shop, and we all go in, five of us, let's do it. Well, long story short, I was the only one to get tattooed that day uh, because they were a bunch of big babies and chickens. And now look at me, look at me now. Still here, still in a tattoo shop, all these years later. Um, my favorite part about that was I had to show my mom my, my tattoo. 
<laughs> and she was a personal trainer at the time, so I went to her to work so that she couldn't get crazy on me for being a kid with a tattoo. I thought maybe she, if I went to her work, there's no way she would uh, lose her temper and take it out on me. And I was right, I would do that again. I suggest that for everybody, go to your parents' <laughs> office if you've done something that they might not be pleased with. Hear that, kids? Life advice. I have all the tattoos. Every single one of them I have. Uh, I asked, I don't know. I don't, I don't, can't answer that. I've got my head tattooed. I've got my feet tattooed, my ribs. My back's getting worked on right now, my stomach. I've got this sweet empty spot on my right arm, but pretty much everything else is represented. My thighs, my butt, uh, throat, neck, chest, head, stomach, ribs. I've got palm of my hand. It's all equally represented. The answer, of course, is yes, because it's a rite of passage. I think, uh, I would think everybody here that's tattooing has tattooed themselves. Um, I think it's a rite of passage. You have to, you have to put a bad tattoo on yourself to know what it feels like, to know, uh, just to know, just to, to look back on 15 years later, you just have to know what it's like to put a tattoo on yourself. I love my favorite styles are traditional tattoo style and black and gray, like realistic tattooing. So I love like hybriding those two things. I'm actually doing that right now with like nice, big, bold lines, but super smooth, soft, black and gray, uh, deep blacks, high contrast. Like I love, I love the way that stuff looks. I think a big, observation is like who's tattooing that's changed a lot in in the 13 and a half years here in tucson the amount of female tattooers and young art student tattooers has grown and blown up and like they've really changed what's possible with tattooing i am not that i am like if it was on the wall that's how I tattooed it. I wasn't creating, I wasn't creating pictures. I was a flash tattoo man. Uh, and so like the biggest change is the amount of talent, to, talent in, the, in the business as well as like the push towards female tattooers. There's a lot of more acceptance and it's growing in that way. I mean, Art and Soul is like, Outside of uh, me and Caden, it's, it's all a female cast of characters. And oh, the characters they are. Um, I remember freaking cell phones. There was no iPhones when, when I started. So seeing people bring in an iPhone as like a tattoo reference is, my, is still a, this didn't exist. But uh, those are probably like the two main. Technology has changed. Rotary tattoo machines with batteries is a thing. Um, yeah, so technology has had a huge impact, uh, which maybe that's responsible for the acceptance within you know, the art community. So maybe technology is the long and short of it. What else do you wanna know? All right, thanks for watching, you guys. If you liked the video, give it a nice big thumbs up. If you didn't, also a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe by clicking below. Thanks, guys. We'll see you, like, see you later. See you next time. See you lakes time.